Hey guys, uh, this is Bebo, and I just wanted to take some time to talk to you about what I did today, which might be totally boring, but some of you might think it's cool. So um, I just want to talk to you about the things that I got to work on today. So the most recent update is Tail Feathers from Flat Hat Games. I made a post up on GameWire, and those guys sent me all the assets for that game, including awesome pictures of the actual cards and the models and just some gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. So if you could go over to the blog, check it out. You might be interested in that. Um, I also saw that Rodney Smith has a new video out for Tides of Time, which is only 12 minutes long, so the game's super simple, really easy to play, and it looks really interesting. I am hoping to get to play it tonight, and I'm probably going to make my mom play with me. So I'm looking forward to that. Speaking of Watch It Played videos, though, uh, Ashes is a game that I cannot stop thinking about right now, and I can't wait to play it again. So if you're in Seattle and you're playing Ashes, please let me know, because I do want to play. Uh, I actually prefer that game three-player. Um, in two-player mode, I guess sometimes it feels a little bit mean in three-player mode. Everybody's just kind of doing the best that they can all the time, and maybe it's just because we did a good job at not playing Kingmaker. But it was a good time and everybody should check that out. Also, you can check out NPC Cast's most recent story um, that is Board Games That Tell Stories with Flat Hat Games, and they interview Isaac Vega, who is the designer of Ashes. He also made Dead of Winter, and he's awesome! So you should check that out, and also tweet at Isaac, because he's the best. Um, Renegade Games turned one today. They make Gravwell, which I got to play a preview of the six-player expansion at Gen Con, and I really liked it. It was quite a bit of fun. Um, I got my butt handed to me, and my team did not win, but it was a great time. Um, they also make lanterns, which I haven't had a chance to try, but I've seen it at, like, Mock Boarding House a bunch of times, and I really want to go check it out. Um, Shut Up and Sit Down wrote a thing about Game of Thrones, the card game second edition. And I am also looking forward to that. I'm not sure that I can fit another CCG, LCG, G, C, E, D, words. Uh, I'm not sure I can fit another one of those into my life, honestly. Um, Ashes even was pushing it. But we'll, we'll see. I'm, I at least want to try it. So if you're in Seattle and you want to try that game, please let me know. Um, also coming out soon, it was on Kickstarter forever ago, Paco Games, and Daily Worker Placement did a really cool little write-up about the good things in the small packages, because they are all, like, itty-bitty packages with these long, cool cards, and I heard there are some really creative things that they did with that. Um, anything, I'm trying to think about anything that happened on Twitter. Oh! There's going to be a Brass Deluxe, 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 I can't talk, uh, I'm not feeling so hot. Um, there's going to be Brass Deluxe, and it comes with metal coins, and we all know how much I love metal coins, because I totally bought two packs of the Seven Wonders one from the Broken Token at Gen Con, because I have a problem, and Broken Token's great, and I love you guys. Alright, that's all I got for today. Um, I'm going to try to do these more often. You can watch me talk for four minutes a day. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.